perhaps before you've heard me talk about defenses and how they work and why they work and how they're running rampant in our lives, but how do we change that? How do we change our relationship to those defenses? Well, there are five basic steps to take in order to change that. First of all, you have to recognize the early patterns established, the early stories that you're telling yourself. You have to know why are you telling yourself that story. So you have to look back. You have to do the work of, and this is hard, but it's vital, the relationship between the mother, the relationship with the father, and the relationship with the child we used to be. We've only got three relationships to work with, by the way, and it's those three. The second thing is you want to notice how you've perpetuated those patterns yourself. Because guess what? Ever since you established those early patterns and ever since we're working off the early woundings that have helped uh, ignite and initiate those patterns, we've been perpetuating them. We've been making them happen again and again and again and again. We've been making them happen. So we want to see how have you been making them? What have you been doing to, to get your life all in a tussle the way it is so that you're not having the the relationship you deserve, the career you deserve, the love you deserve, the money you deserve, etc., etc. The third thing is that we need to appreciate and value those patterns. Yes, yes, yes. Everything that's ever happened in our life is valuable. Everything, all the horrors that you could name and list have given you something. We just have to know how to mine that dirt for gold. The fourth thing is to acknowledge how you're thinking, your feeling and your behaving patterns have contributed to the disrepair of your life. You are the centerpiece of your own story. You are responsible for your own life. I know it's not popular to think <laughs> that the world isn't to blame for everything that's happened to you. Your parents aren't to blame for everything that's happened to you, but I'm here to tell you that you are the centerpiece of your own story. And when you can get excited about that story, no matter how awful it seemed, all kinds of changes will occur. Everything will flow from that. I promise, I guarantee. And then, of course, there is learning new behaviors and new responses to old feelings and then incorporating those new behaviors and responses into your life on a daily basis. That's more behavioral work, but you know, you have to understand what's the root cause of things. Over and over I tell people, most of what people deal with as problems are actually only symptoms of problems. I want to get to the root, the actual problem, because you can never change anything at the level of the problem. Never are you going to make a change at the level of the problem. And I can give you a ton of examples about that, and I will. This is Dr. Nikki. Talk to you later.